Hi everyone, I'm Victoria DiCarlo, the school bus driver. I'm here to share another safety tip and reminder with you on the return to the new school year. This is the month that most school districts will be performing the emergency evacuation drills with their students on the school buses. These drills are very important for our students to be educated and also practice so they will know what to do in the event of a real emergency. What I really want to point out here is the most vital part of this evacuation drill, and that is to be without a doubt that our buses are safely secured before these drills are set forth. Because of there being a possibility that human error can occur, here's what I'm hoping for that all school districts across the nation will do before they have students exiting out of those emergency doors. And that would be the use of chocks to be in place at the rear dual tires on each school bus used for this type of drill. You see, in the past for these drills, turning the bus's front tires toward the curb and pulling the emergency brake out has proven not to be safe enough, unless there are more than one responsible adults assisting in the drill. Let me share with you some reports that have happened in the past when this procedure has been done by a solo driver, and I fear it may happen again. Let's begin with last September. An Akron, Ohio student somehow misunderstood the driver's instructions and had pushed the emergency brake in during their evacuation drill. This miscommunication between student and driver caused the bus to roll backward while the driver was standing outside the rear emergency door assisting exiting students. The bus's rear tires ran over the driver, ending that driver's life. If the use of chocks were in place, a life would have been spared, along with the pain and despair of many from this result. Also making news was a mechanic who lost his life while servicing a school bus in a parking lot. The bus rolled over him, ending his life as well. This too was a result in the absence of chocks being in place here. Please, I urge, if any school bus being used for evacuation drills on school property with students involved should have chocks in place. So learning from the past fatal incidents and close calls out there, would it be fair to say that we should be using them? The use of chocks during evacuation drills should be a mandate for every school district. If we are an industry that prides ourselves on safety first, safety always, shouldn't we be acting on that? Of course, it makes sense. So let's do it. I want to thank you for listening to this most important message. Always remember to respect your state and district laws and policies first and foremost. Be safe. Put chocks in place. The life you save may be your own. Until next time, stay safe out there.